What's up friends? Welcome back to We Can RV. In this video, we're taking a look at the 2023 East to West Entrada model 2700 NS. NS stands for no slides. This is a no slide model offering lower weight and reliability, especially when boondocking. No worries about a slide getting stuck in the out position and not being able to get it back in and get out of your campsite. This RV has a really cool floor plan. They make a lot of really excellent use of the space. We'll get into that in a minute. First of all, I want to thank the team at RV1 in Charlotte, North Carolina for allowing me to shoot this video and have a look at this RV. I uh, really appreciate their hospitality. They are a great team, friendly people, very helpful, extremely knowledgeable, and uh, super inventory too. So check them out. I'll have a link to RV1 in Charlotte in the show notes for this video. East to West Entrada is a, a lower priced unit. It's kind of sort of a value priced unit, but I think you're gonna be impressed with the kind of um, features that this unit offers. It does have a one piece fiberglass front cap over the cab, uh, that bunk area. Um, you know, not 100% full like uh, an Integra Esteem, like not 100% full fiberglass cap, but pretty close. This one rides on the E350 chassis, the lower price chassis, saving you some money there. They use Asdell in this unit. Asdell is a composite that uh, prevents uh, delamination. Um, it's, uh, it's a green um, material, so... Good news there. The storage capacity in this unit, the basement storage is really cool. This is the, the storage compartment at the rear. It's fully passed through, which is nice. Storage compartments are pretty easy to clean. They're, they're not carpeted, which is cool. There's a view down the driver's side of the RV. All of the um, hookups are exposed on the outside, so it's pretty basic again. Um, gas furnace, uh, gas water heater, I think it's a 10 gallon, I'm not sure. Again, I'll have the specs here shortly. Speaking of specs, there we go. Yamaha inverter generator. Yamaha, obviously a high quality, well-built unit. So it's kind of cool to see that. Walking into this RV, it really surprised me how bright and airy the interior is considering there are no slides. I do love the white finish on the cabinetry with the black hardware, sort of a, I think that's called a farmhouse style, I'm not sure, but anyway, it's really cool. I think it looks really modern and, and uh, real clean and definitely brightens up the interior. TV's located in the bunk area over the cab. a shot of the cockpit area of the E350. This chassis is equipped with everything you need to get the job done. Rubber flooring in the cab makes cleanup super easy. Again, I was really impressed with the cabinetry in this unit. 
course the woodwork isn't like what you're going to find in a Newmar or uh, a higher end Winnebago or Integra, but still really good looking. So your control panel, all the switches you'll need for lights and awnings and so forth. 12 volt refrigerator in this unit. 12 volt refrigerators have more space on the inside. No need for propane while you're driving down the road. These are powered by the batteries, uh, the house batteries, which are then connected to an inverter. microwave oven big like farmhouse style sink which is uh, really neat I mean I was again super impressed with the features on the interior of this unit really good looking hardware stainless steel sink propane stovetop no oven Thank goodness, what a nice feature it is to see. No oven in this unit. I've only had one RV in the past, never once used the oven, so would much rather have this storage space in, in place of the oven, which is nice to see here. Lots of storage there. Shot of the pantry door. Lots of storage there. The bathroom is sort of a split bathroom, so the sink and the vanity are outside in the hallway, um, next to, in between the kitchen and the bedroom. porcelain sink storage underneath and then across from that is the toilet area and the shower cabinet storage area there in the bathroom area. Shower is kind of nice. The tile's faux, of course. It's plastic or some kind of poly material, but it looks cool. Hardware looks good, too. Sort of a brushed aluminum look. I'm sure it's stainless steel. Skylight with a, a lot of extra headroom for taller passengers. All right, then moving back into the bedroom area. Again, no slides in this unit. The bed is a north-south arrangement. Nice thing about a no-slide unit, you can use everything in the interior without uh, having to worry about whether or not you need to put the slides out or not. So the bed obviously, and a lot of units have uh, restricted access when the slides are in. That's not the case, obviously, not no slide unit. There's a spot here on the wall in the bedroom to mount a TV and there's a cable outlet there.
It's an accordion style curtain that separates the bedroom from the main living area and bathroom area of the coach. I'd like to see a pocket door, but at this price point, uh, I'm not going to see that. Another shot of the interior here, the living area. Sofa can seat two comfortably. It's a roomy dinette. There's storage under the dinette, which is nice. You don't have to lift the seat tops up. The um, storage is accessed through the drawers under the seats, which is cool. No carpet in this coach. The floor is um, completely vinyl. There's one AC in this unit, it's a 15,000 BTU unit. There's another look at the interior and uh, in a wide angle lens view. Again, really impressed with this East to West Entrada 2700 no slide NS unit. Definitely check it out, it's, it's worth a look. I think you'll be really impressed with the cosmetic and build quality of this unit. Again, big thanks to RV1 in Charlotte for their hospitality. And guys, if you like the video, uh, if you'd like to see some more, give me a like and subscribe. Would really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you next week in the next video here at We Can RV. Thanks again. Bye-bye.